converting between polar functions and parametric equations is actually going to be a little bit more useful to us as far as the calculus goes. So we can convert from polar to rectangular fairly easily, but this conversion here from polar to parametric is going to be better. Uh, this isn't anything new. Actually, the, the equations I'm going to give you here are the same as the ones we just looked at. X equals R cosine of theta and Y equals R sine of theta. Uh, but what we have then is we have two equations. And what's going to happen is we're going to have, when we're talking about a polar function, we're going to have a function of R in terms of theta equals something. Um, so maybe we have R in terms of theta is equal to... I don't know, 1 minus cosine of theta. And so what we can do is we can plug this 1 minus cosine of theta in for r here and for r here, and we have parametric equations where the parameter here is going to be theta instead of t. Um, so these equations right here give us a way of converting from polar equations to parametric equations. And then the calculus, uh, particularly finding the slope, is the same way we found the slope with parametric equations. And, and we'll look at an example of that in just a second.